I'm Addison. I'm a full-time streamer on Twitch. And I'm going to show you a few settings you can adjust on your PC to get your Modern Warfare 2 game to run better. Making all of these adjustments increased the frames dramatically for me while playing the Modern Warfare 2 beta. This also works for Warzone 1.0, and it will also work for the full release of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. First, navigate to your documents. Find the Call of Duty folder, navigate to the Options file, choose Open with Notepad. In here, change your video memory scale to 1.2 if you are running one of the latter RTX cards. The render worker count depends on what CPU you have. To find out what CPU you have, go to Task Manager, hit Performance, and click CPU. This particular CPU has 16 cores, but only half of them are actual performance cores. Setting this to 8, I have noticed, works the best for me. This value seems to work differently depending on what CPU you are using. You can try a different couple of numbers and see what works best for you. When you're done, hit Save. Make sure to go to Properties and press it to Read Only. Also, make sure that the game is closed down while doing this. Next, hit start. Type in graphic settings. Open it up. Make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. Also, go down to browse. Locate your beta folder. Hit COD. I've already done this, so you can see that it's here. And close down. Go to your control panel. Press hardware and sound. Find your power options. Make sure that you have high performance at least. For bits of highest performance, you install Process Lasso. I'll be leaving a link in the description for this app. This is a useful app that I like to use. For ultimate performance, you hit Windows key, type CMD, open up command prompt, and you copy paste in this command and press enter. I'll be leaving this in the description as well. Once you finish that, go to the Windows key again, type in game mode, make sure it's on. Some systems actually run better with this off, Personally, it runs better for me with it on. Then navigate to Xbox Game Bar. Make sure to keep this off. NVIDIA users can go into the control panel, navigate to manage 3D settings. Make sure to use as much cache size as possible on the disk that you have the installed game on. Low latency mode on, power management mode to prefer maximum performance, texture filtering, high performance. Lastly, fire up the Battle.net app. Choose options next to play, go into game settings, click Additional command line arguments. Put in dash D3D11. Hit done. And that's it. Let's open the game up and go through what settings you should use to get the most frames out of your system. Display mode should always be on full screen for the least amount of latency. Screen refresh rate to the highest available. Display resolution to the highest available. VSync always off. Some people like to cap their frame rate, but I tend to argue that leaving it on unlimited while using more power also gives you those few extra frames. If your GPU supports any of these methods, I recommend using them in this beta because you are forced to use anti-aliasing here. There is no selecting off on everything. Otherwise, I would recommend that. Nearby level of detail low. Texture resolution on very low, mainly because when there are a lot of things going on, you do not want that frame rate dip. Texture filtering anisotropic doesn't really affect performance that much, so you can put it to whatever you like. Particle quality in Call of Duty is recommended to be put on high, to get clearer visibility. Bullet impact sprays doesn't matter. It doesn't affect performance. I usually run it off to get less distracted. Shader quality low, tessellation off, on-demand texture streaming off, streaming quality low, although it doesn't matter if you're already running this off. Shadow map resolution, uh, very low. Spot shadow quality to low. Cache spot shadows on, cache sun shadows on. Having these two features on increases your FPS dramatically. Particle lighting off, ambient occlusion off, SSR off. I usually have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on on plus boost, but I've heard arguments for running it on on, and that's what I did during today's stream, and everything was working very fine. Depth of field off, world motion blur off, weapon motion blur off, film grain set to zero. And that's it. Do me a favor, don't forget to leave that like on the video. And of course, please come follow me on Twitch. I do this full time and I'd appreciate having you in chat. Take care.